fam, what it do this morning? Hey, it's your boy Rebuke. And yo, we got this story coming up by the West Virginia. And I just want to say shout out to all of my new subscribers and all my listeners. We doing a good job. The channel is definitely growing. It couldn't be possible without you. So don't forget to keep liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing on all these videos so we can get to a 1 million subscribers. So this story out of West Virginia, man arraigned in fatal shooting of state trooper. And the way his face looked, looked like he was resisting arrest. Cause man, 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 whoo. Let's get into these details. Uh-oh. See if we can get rid of that advertisement. Hold on, we're gonna have to flip it like this right quick. A suspect in the fatal shooting of a West Virginia state police officer was arraigned Saturday on a first degree murder charge. There we go. Timothy Kennedy, 29, was arraigned by video in Mingo County Magistrate Court. Kennedy of the Mingo County community of Beach Creek near Matawan was being held without bond in the southwestern regional jail. Jail records didn't indicate whether Kennedy had an attorney who could comment on the charge. Dozens of police officers had searched for Kennedy for hours. He was arrested in a stolen vehicle Friday night at a law enforcement checkpoint, news outlets reported. Earlier Friday, Sergeant Corey uh, Manart and two troopers had responded to a complaint of a shooting at a home and were fired at when they arrived, state police said in a statement. Manyard was shot and taken to a local, hosp a local hospital and taken to a hospital in Logan. Governor Jim Justice announced Manyard's death in the statement Friday night and said he was absolutely heartbroken. The brave men and women of law enforcement and all first responders who put their lives on the line every day to keep us safe are an inspiration to us all, Justice said. And may he rest in peace. And boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy, somebody done a number on him. Woo! Timothy Kennedy, who was accused of fatally shooting a West Virginia State Police officer, was arraigned on June 3rd, 2023, and that was yesterday. Manyard earned a state police award in 2015 after he administered first aid to a man who uh, was had been involved in the pursuit, crashed his vehicle, and stabbed himself in the neck in the eastern panhandle, according to state police. Man, that dude was tripping. During the initial shooting Friday, Benjamin Adam Baldwin, 39, of Matawan, was shot with the rifle. He was in serious but stable condition Saturday at a hospital in Charleston, state police said. The motive for the shooting is unknown and remains under investigation. Nearby residents were advised to stay indoors during the search for Kennedy and a Friday night graduation ceremony at Mingo Central High School was postponed. That was that officer, man. May he rest in peace. I know his family is going through a hard time right now. The whole community. The shooting happened in the same county where Sheriff Eugene Crum was shot to death in April 2013 in a spot in Williamson, where he usually parked his car for lunch. A suspect later was found incompetent to stand trial and was ordered to be committed to a state mental, ho a mental health facility for life. Mingo and neighboring McDowell County are home to the legendary blood feud between the Hatfield family and West Virginia, of West Virginia and the McCoy family of Kentucky. Mingo County was dubbed Bloody Mingo during the early 20th century coal mine wars. Ten people were killed in a 1920 gun battle known as the Metal One Massacre. Between miners led by a local police chief and a group of private security guards who were hired to evict the miners for joining the union. Yeah, man, I'm trying to tell you, buddy. Yo ass is in trouble, homie. And you can just see it on your face. Yo ass is in trouble. And I'm trying to tell you, boy, there's only one way your face ended up looking like that. <laughs> and man, I tell you what, man, violence is never the answer. And it's never a good idea when you shoot or kill anybody, let alone a cop. With that being said, drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch y'all in the next episode. Peace.